was going to walk from coast to coast. Hello, my beautiful friends. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my night routine, and it's going to be up close and personal. So let's get started. Leave it at home. What Alex and I like to do after dinner, whether we have dinner at home or in a restaurant, is we like to go for a walk. I think it's really great to do that before you go to sleep because it's just you kind of drain all the excess energy. It's also great for your digestion and it's just great. We like walking and discovering new and little cute streets around the neighborhood. It's just something we enjoy doing every night. So here we are coming home. Yay! I love coming home and then the first thing I will do is turn the light on <laughs> and go into the living room and turn the light on here and just get myself really comfortable on the couch I love our new couch it is so comfortable so I'll just put my feet up pull my phone out so I'll usually go on Instagram just to see what's up what people are posting and then I will check some comments on my Instagram photos. And this is the time where I get to respond to your messages. This is a very special time of my day because I get to connect with you guys and chat with you over comments. I just love doing that. And you guys always leave me such sweet and uplifting comments. I really appreciate that about you guys. I love you. What I've really been enjoying lately is going on Periscope and live chatting with you guys. This app is really awesome and allows me to live chat with you guys. You can ask me any questions and we just have a really personal one-on-one -on -one time. So here I am just chatting and answering to your questions and actually letting you guys know that I'm filming your night routine. So sometimes you get a scoop of my new videos there. And then Alex will usually join me as well and he will usually dim the lights and set the mood. He's really good at that. So he'll usually put some nice and relaxing music to set the mood and I love Yuruma, we play him a lot. He's got really nice piano songs. So yeah, music on. And the next thing Alex will do is usually light some candles. And the reason we like to dim the lights and light candles in the evenings, actually we have dimmers in all of our rooms, is because this is really good for your natural circadian rhythm. And what this does, it kind of tells your brain that it's time to unwind and get ready for sleep. And another important thing is that we'll only use natural either soy wax candles or beeswax candles because they're better for the environment and they're better for you. I'm gonna run some now Alex will usually join me on the couch and he'll go on his phone and check the emails and continue doing some work. Leave it all, leave it all, leave it all, leave it all. Oops, the timer is on. Yes, we do have a timer on our phones that reminds us to go to sleep. It usually goes off at about 9.55, 10 o'clock. So at this point, we'll usually debate whether we should take 10 more minutes to be on our social media or if we should go make some tea. All right, so here I am getting up and just going to the bedroom. And once I'm in the bedroom, I'm actually gonna go to Alex's side of the closet and I'm gonna find his sweatshirt because I absolutely love wearing his sweatshirts. They're so big and comfy and it's just the perfect thing to wear in the evening to unwind. All right, so now I'm in the kitchen and I'm just gonna put the light on, the small light, and check if there is water in the kettle first. Yep, there's plenty of water. So I'm gonna make some tea. So I'm just gonna put the stove on and then go in the fridge to see if we have any fresh mint because we absolutely love drinking fresh mint tea in the evening. All right, so I've got the mint. Now I'm just gonna wash it, make sure it's all clean and fresh. And then I'm gonna shake it up, shake it up. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is just open the pot, this beautiful pot we got when we were in Morocco and the cups, we love them so much. So I'm just gonna grab the mint and put it in the pot. Oh, the hot water is ready. So all I'm gonna do is pour the boiling water over the fresh mint and that's how you make fresh mint tea. All right, so I'm gonna bring it all to the living room and situate myself comfortably on the couch. And Alex is setting the mood again with the candles. They're so pretty. And for a late night snack, because sometimes we're hungry after we have dinner, we usually go for something healthy like almond butter or hazelnut butter. Hazelnut butter is my absolute favorite. It's so delicious. It's like Nutella, but a million times healthier. 
So we'll just have that and I'll pour some tea. And this is really the time where Alex and I talk about the day, some things that happen, and we just have a nice chat and relax. Oh, it's so delicious, guys. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Oh, and another thing I do that's very important and it's something I do in the evening after I check my social media is I put my phone on airplane mode and I keep it on airplane mode till the next morning. And the reason I do that is because I don't want any electromagnetic waves going to my brain when I'm sleeping. So yeah, we'll have some tea, do a little dance. This is a very special time for us because the rest of the day we work together. However, we're usually into our own worlds on the computers. So this is the time where we get to chat and really open up to each other. All right, so now we're moving the little coffee table away and making some space for meditation. And it's something I do every evening for 10, 15 minutes before I go to sleep. Sometimes Alex joins me, sometimes he doesn't. Today he's gonna join me as well. And I just put a little cushion, which is my blanket. <laughs> and I like to cover myself with a blanket as well to keep myself warm while I'm meditating. And Alex is gonna sit next to me. I'm just gonna do some stretches and prepare myself for meditation. So leave it at home. And then we'll set the timer for 10 or 15 minutes. And I usually do Vipassana meditation. I've talked about this in various of my videos. I'm gonna leave a link below in my info box to a video that explains how to do it. And that's what we're both doing right now. All right, so once the 10 minutes are done, we're just gonna stretch and get ready for bed. All right, so now I'm in the bathroom and the first thing I'm gonna do is take my weave on. Yes, because I'm wearing my Luxies. So I'm just gonna slowly unwind my hair, make sure there are no tangles. I do not wanna tangle my hair. So just gonna brush it through and start slowly unclipping my Luxie hair extensions. Yay! Oh, it feels so good. Okay, for those of you that wear extensions, you know the feeling you get in the evening when you take them off. It's like, oh, it feels amazing. It's like taking a bra off. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna slowly pull them all out of my head or hair. All right, I think I'm all good now. And then what I do is usually just twist them sort of in a circle and then pull the ends through that circle and store them in the box that they come in and that is it all right next i'm gonna take off my jewelry again it feels amazing to take it off at the end of the day and then i'm just gonna do a little silly dance i like to do that once in a while and then I'm just gonna twist my hair into an organic bun i have a tutorial for that by the way i'm gonna link it down below all right, next I'm gonna reach into my cabinet and take out all the things I use in the evening. That will be organic cotton pants, so I use that to remove my makeup. And I'm using this amazing organic natural Madara cleansing milk. It's all natural, cruelty-free product that is perfect to remove makeup. So I'm just gonna start with my cheeks and then go into my eyes, which are the hardest to clean usually. And because it's a natural product, I feel like sometimes it takes me a bit longer so what I will do is put the cotton pad on my eye, kind of let it soak, soak in all the makeup, and I'll do the same thing on the other eye. As you can see, it works. Now I'm gonna use my Josie Mirren cleansing oil, which I absolutely love and I've been using for years now. And I'm just gonna use a few pumps with some warm water. I'm gonna put it on my face and I'm gonna slowly and gently start foaming it on my face. And of course the neck as well. And I'm just making sure to remove all the residue from makeup or just environmental residue, dust, whatever gets in the face throughout the day, sweat, all that stuff. Ah, oh, that feels great. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my towel and pat it on my face to dry my face. And at this time, usually Alex joins me in the bathroom and we have a little floss party because flossing is so important. Actually, my dentist told me years ago that flossing is more important than brushing your teeth. So it's very, very special time in my day. I actually love flossing. Anyone with me, please leave me a comment down below. So yeah. That takes usually a good five minutes because I want to make sure I get through all my teeth. 
and then moving on to brushing the teeth also a very special time and we're using this toothpaste that we import <laughs> and by import i mean every time somebody visits us from canada they bring it for us or when we visit it's all natural cruelty free and all that wonderful stuff and usually when we brush teeth alex hugs me it's just our little special ritual that we do we we'll always brush teeth together now the next thing i'm going to do is moisturize and i'm using this dr hauschka regenerating eye cream and Alex uses, uses Melissa day cream on his face. I know it's a day cream, he uses it for night. And even though my eye cream is for the eye, I actually use it all over the face. I really love this cream. Again, it's organic, all natural, and it's just really great for all over the face, I think. All right, now it's time to change into my night clothes. And I actually wear Alex's t-shirts. I sleep in his t-shirts, I love them. They're so comfy. Now, before we go to sleep, I like to moisturize and I'm using this Ruby Red Natural Moisturizer. Again, a great all natural product. And I'm just gonna start with my hands, my arms, and just put it all over. This is a great way to make sure that your tan lasts. <laughs> That's how I keep my tan. And then I'm gonna do my legs, gotta do those legs. Don't forget the legs. And now we're gonna go to bedroom. All right, so the first thing I do when I go to bedroom, if the window is not open yet, is I'm gonna open the window because we'll always sleep with fresh air. Regardless of whether it's summer, winter, it doesn't really matter. We we'll always have a little bit of the window open to make sure the fresh air comes in because it's really good for sleep. And Alex is gonna bring some water. And then he, because he's tall, he's gonna help me put the blinds down because the windows are so huge. And we have double blinds, again, to make sure no light comes in through the window. Again, this is really great for your natural circadian rhythm and for your sleep overall. The darker it is, the better you sleep. So we're gonna bring some candles into the room, make it all magical and romantic. And this is how we get into bed. Just kidding. <laughs> This is usually how we go to bed. First, we will remove the pillows. Step number one, remove the blanket and then slowly and carefully roll the blanket. What I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna use this magnesium spray, which is amazing, guys. It's great for deeper relaxation and sleep. It's amazing for your brain. It's just a really good thing for everyone to use, actually. So I like to use this daily before I go to sleep. It relaxes me. I just think I sleep way better. And you can put this on very sensitive areas of your body, like armpits, behind the knee area, whatever that's called. <laughs> so Alex is gonna use some of that as well. And the last thing we do in the day and also the first thing we do when we wake up is the five minute journal and I just love it because it allows me to reflect on the day. So here I'm gonna write the three amazing things that happened today. Filming a new hair tutorial, that's right. And then Alex is gonna fill his out as well. And then what we're gonna do after we fill it all out, we're gonna share it. This is a great exercise for couples, I think. We've told all our friends to do the same because it, again, it's something that bonds you and you get to know your partner better. It's just a great bonding exercise for couples. And after we finish with the five minute journal, we're just gonna take a few more minutes to cuddle and talk. Okay, I really need to go to sleep now. I'm so sleepy. All right, now it's time to blow out those candles and go to sleep. Good night. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this video down below. Leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see our office routine, what we do at work, sort of a workday routine, then make sure to like this video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Does this happen every night? <laughs>